Thousands of businesses are closed because of the coronavirus, causing many problems. Eyewitness News found a veterinary care center that is offering special curbside service to make sure their best friends are not forgotten. Eyewitness News reporter Logan Westrope has more from Salem Township. Business is still running at the Berwick Veterinary Care Center as appointments are still being taken, but with precautionary measures. <laughs> Curbside service. Wendy Hauk, who brought her cat Milo in for an appointment, says she is thankful for the curbside service. The animals are obviously getting into an area that's that's clean and, and not they're not going to be carriers or, or have their um, containers contaminated by doing it this way. So, it, you know, it's reassur reassuring for us. Dr. Jerry Ellett of Berwick Veterinary Care Center says the change helps maintain social distance and follows orders from the CDC. When the owner gets to the parking lot, they call our clinic. A technician will get the history over the phone. Our technician will then go out to the parking lot and get the pet for me and then bring the pet in. I'll do the exam, call the owner, go over treatment plans, diagnostics, uh, medications we're going to give, and then the technician will go back out and give the pet back to their owner. Dr. Ellis says they are limiting appointments to emergencies only. She says other appointments like vaccines are moved to April. There's one exception when a pet owner can enter the building when a pet has to be euthanized. We do keep our uh, six foot distances. Um, we wear gloves and masks um, and then we try and stay as far away from the owners as we can. Um, we still, our euthanasia protocols are still the same. That hasn't changed. Robert Hakem, here for his dog's appointment, says having the vet open is essential. My dog, he, he has an infection and, and um, you know, he would die if they didn't do this. So, you know, it's got, they got to do it. Reporting in Salem Township, Logan Westrope, Eyewitness News. The doctor says there's no evidence we can give COVID-19 to our pets or they can give it to us. But she ensures to always wash her hands and avoid touching other animals at this time.